Hey everyone, it's Ray here with another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2019 and a half Cedar Creek 31 IK. This is a brand new floor plan with the latest changes. And yes, you did hear me say right, 2019 and a half. Uh, the early 2019s that have been out for the last roughly three and a half months uh, were basically 2018, late 18s with 2019 titles. The factory has now started their mid-year model change for the Cedar Creek lineup. So now we have some new features. We'll kind of see all that in this new model here. So it now actually has a new fiberglass cap design on the front, a little bit different looking. It has two lower LED lights there to help for nighttime hookup. We have a little bit different graphics package on the outside compared to the other early version. And you have two outdoor speakers. You have the large um, storage compartment underneath the front section there. And I'm actually hooked up to a one ton long bed dually truck. So you can actually kind of see what that looks like. Plenty of space in between here. Uh, it's got really good turning radius. The camper also has the corners kind of sloped back a little bit and given a little more turning radius for the shorter bed trucks also. Um, the One of the new features now is the new Drop Z frame. They've been doing this on the more expensive Cedar Creek, but it was not available on the Silverback version. Now that is actually a standard on the Silverback. So you do have a larger storage compartment here now. It is taller. Another new feature for them for the 19 and a half version is going to be the in command center. That black box right there actually comes off. There's a bunch of color coded wiring, uh, relays, some fuses, things like that. This is more of what some of the automotive style things were doing with the specifically colored wiring and things that go to certain items so it's easier to track down and trace in case of uh, maintenance issues and that's not been done on most products in the RV industry so this is a new feature for them you also have the central vacuum right there um, the diamond plate rubber mat floor um, so that's a really nice feature there just kind of helps keep things from sliding around the baggage door, a little bit thicker baggage door, better insulation value there, has the slam lock baggage uh, door handle on it, and has the shock assist on this model. There is a propane hookup down here, you can see, so that is a newer feature. So if you wanted to do a portable grill or something like that, you can. And just above there is your two 30-pound propane tanks with the auto changeover regulator. You have the nicer, more ride steps. This actually has the shock assist on it also. It's a quad entrance step, adjustable feet. has the little welcome sign written into it. There's a step light down there and also a porch light up above. And there's also the LED light there. So it's nice and bright out here at nighttime compared to some other brands that just do the LED strip light and no porch light or step light. Um, the large folding entry handle is there. You can see nice big awning. Also up above there, you can see the TV antenna up there. This unit was ordered with the slide out awning covers. This is also another feature that has changed on the 19 and a half version. The early version had the vaulted ceiling slide. It no longer has that on the Silverback version. It is a flat roof now, once again, just like its big brother, the Cedar Creek, in their Champagne version. Um, so that is a new thing that has changed on the 19 and a half version. It actually does make the camper feel a little bit bigger because the ceiling is taller, and it's taller all the way across instead of coming down at a slope. So a little bit different look inside, which you'll see when we get back in there. Um, 6,000 pound Dexter axles. This has the never adjust brakes, the Dexter Easy uh, Flex suspension system. They are again 16 inch tires, E rated tires on this 31 IK. Um, some models will be larger because they are heavier campers. Uh, 
Be sure to check out CouchesRVNation.com, one of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country. They will definitely save you a lot of money on a new RV. Um, you can see on the windows here, you have the nicer frameless windows. They come standard with the single pane glass frameless windows. And you have an option to upgrade to dual pane windows if you're more of a full time person. So that is an available feature. The back of the camper ceiling height is a little bit taller. It's not quite as drastic of a slope as the other versions. Um, so that is a little bit larger feeling when you get inside and the back side. Flat back has LED taillights down here. Typical RV bumper, four inch square tube bumper. This was ordered with the inch and a quarter bike rack hitch back there. Um, they are pre-wired for backup cameras and most dealers are stocking them now with the backup camera but that is technically an option so if you want that make sure you do get that. Nice ladder going all the way up to the top. It does come all the way down to the bumper where a lot of them stop above the running light or tail light I mean. So basically that is a little bit easier to climb up and down compared to some of our competitors. The underneath is actually enclosed and it is done by sectionalized panels, not a one piece plastic bottom. So it's done by sectionalized panels which makes it easier to work on in case of maintenance issues in the future. The spare tire is actually mounted underneath the bottom rear section down there, so that is where that is located. This particular camper has the six-point automatic hydraulic jack system. The hydraulic jack system is faster and stronger than its cheaper predecessor of the electric version. In the middle of the slide there is your stove exhaust. You have your gas electric water heater, 10 gallon gas electric water heater. Your furnace is right there and just above the furnace next to that middle running light there is also your power cord hookup. So the power cord comes with it, it's a detachable power cord, it's about 25 feet uh, long roughly. And you also have again that drop Z frame. But you'll notice you don't actually see the frame. They bring that lower colored metal all the way down to attach to the frame. So it gives it a cleaner look. A lot of them you see the black frame which eventually becomes all rusty and nasty looking. So that is a little bit different on this. And down here you can see your dump area and there's also another tube there for a dump hose. This baggage door on this side actually swings open. So you can't accidentally raise it too high and crush it by the bedroom slide getting closed up there. But also, again, thicker baggage doors. You can see the insulation factor is as thick as the frame. Some of them, this insulation factor is about half the thickness of that frame. So it is better insulated than some of the other brands on the market. Storage compartment area here, and you have your power cord reel and there's also controls here for the jack system. The docking station here, you have your hitch light, or I'm sorry, you have a light in here for your docking area, but you also have your hydraulic on-off switches for your slide outs, cable and satellite hookups. You have the uh, bypass for the city water or fresh water. You can pick and choose there, that little blue handle. Uh, battery disconnect down there. There is the black tank flush there. Your gray galley and handle for your black is all right there. There's some instructions on winterization right there. And you can see to bypass your water heater, it's all done right here. So you don't have to take a bunch of stuff apart, which is really nice. And there is a light switch there for the cap. The front lights on the cap to turn those off and on. Up here in this compartment, you have your battery area. So right down there, you could put three batteries in there if you wanted to. Your um, inverter for the electric refrigerator is right there. 
also your hydraulic pump. There is another switch right here too to run that in and out and you can manually crank these up and down in and out kind of thing in case of failure. And some instruction manuals here, uh, battery hookup stuff there. Then here you have your standard information stickers, um, 235 80 R16 E-range tires, 80 PSI, two 6,000 pound axles, production date, this particular camper was built 7-16 of 2018, and they started the new model changes right here around this time. And then you got your VIN number and all that information right there. Kind of step back here a little bit so you can get an overview of the RV. This unit was ordered with two air conditioners. One 15,000 Whisper Quiet Air is standard. The second one is technically an option, but most dealers do stock it with two air conditioners. So be sure to check that out. That second air is also a Whisper Quiet unit. That's pretty important if you like to sit inside the coach and watch TV. You don't have as loud of a noise uh, blaring above your head when you're in there watching TV or even trying to listen to music or whatever. Just have a conversation. Uh, so they are a lot quieter than the old school versions. On the front of the cap up there, you do have two LED running lights up there too. Really nice, clean look to the coach. They also use a high gloss gel coat fiberglass exterior. It's a little bit more expensive than some of the other uh, fiberglasses that are on the market. Cedar Creek is also not a laminated coach. This is a hung fiberglass sidewall. So you don't have to worry about delamination problems as bad as you would with a glued together laminated coach. And there's studs every 12 to 16 inches on center on a Cedar Creek where some of these cheaper laminated coaches have studs every three or four or five feet, depending on where they feel they need it. It's not necessarily there because it's part of the main structure. They're depending on that glue to hold that RV together. Um, so you could actually peel the fiberglass off of this Cedar Creek and refiberglass it. On a laminated coach, if you accidentally wreck it or a tree fell against it or something crazy like that, it's super hard to ever repair. You gotta patch it or replace an entire wall where here you can reskin the unit. It's much, much easier to service than some of these other cheaper laminated units. Going into the entry door area, you have a nice, large, 32 inch wide entry door, radius top, has the screen door and everything. And their screen door is a little bit nicer because it also has the little storm door feature. So you have these little removable panels here. Just little bitty things here come off. So you got a screen or you have the panels. The panels are nice because if it's a good fall day or early spring day, you can actually leave your door open and not lose a bunch of your air conditioning. So that does help. You still lose a little bit, but nowhere near the amount as just having a screen there. The little welcome thing built in there is pretty cool. And again, shock assist on this door here. Going up into the coach, you're going to have a carrying capacity, basically telling you you can carry 2,424 pounds on this camper here. Now back to some of the new changes and features. We have a completely different wood color, different floor color, and a little bit different countertop color. So the unit has changed quite a bit compared to the early 19 or late 18 versions. Again, you can see the taller ceiling height back here. So you do have your cabinets up top back there, but it's got more of a straight line roof to it than the earlier version. Um, again, whisper quiet air, so you don't see the big air conditioner in here. You got two returns for each air conditioner, one on each side. Nice crown molding running down both sides. Um, nice little overhead light there, a little island light. Um, they have the ceiling fan now, and before you could only get that by special request on the 18 and 19, early 19 version. 
but that is now a feature that is in the unit. This is the new furniture. So they have a couple different colors now. This is the pleather, leather, whatever you want to call it, basically fake leather type stuff. And this is the almond color. Um, the darker color right now is going to be a fabric. Uh, they are talking about whether or not they're going to do a darker leather again for the late eight, uh, 19 model. But that is something that uh, we're still trying to figure out from them. You have the nicer roller shades on all the windows there. Electric fireplace. Jensen DVD stereo system there. It's Bluetooth. Jensen TV. A lot of kitchen counter space in this floor plan. Plenty of room on both sides of the oven. You have the new microwave and also the new oven and gas stovetop. So this is actually new for this version. Um, so this is the Furion stove. It's a little bit larger, a lot nicer door. It's got the glass door and it also has a little digital screen there. They are auto light now, um, still propane. And then you have the nicer three burner stove top there. And this is the new microwave. This is an Insigna microwave now. Oh, they got it taped up here. But uh, basically, it is the larger style microwave. Cabinets beside the microwave are fairly deep. So you have plenty of room to put your plates and dishes and stuff in there. has the Euro hinges on your cabinet doors. Here you can kind of get a pretty good look at the new color of the door. New handles. Looking toward the front of the coach, uh, you have an electric outlet on the island there. And then there's four drawers built into the island there little flip open drawer for your sponges and stuff and some cabinetry down there. The new theater seat feature here that is power. So you push a button that goes in and out. The furniture is made in the US. You have a couple cup holders in the middle. And there you can kind of see the new roof line for the slide out down here, which has changed. No more vaulted ceiling there. But you have nice large windows looking out over your campsite. Freestanding dinette with the four chairs. The chairs have storage built into them and there is a leaf extension for the table also. The slide out for the kitchen part does not have any carpet on it, which is pretty nice. So if you are in there cooking and spill something, um, you know, it's a lot easier to clean up and not have to worry about staying in that area. You also have in-floor ducted heat. So there's two heat ducts down here. You can see the new flooring here. High-rise pull-out sprayer faucet there, uh, stainless sink underneath, nice matching sink covers. This one was ordered with the larger 20 cubic foot refrigerator. So that has a two-drawer pull-out down there for the freezer and then the refrigerator up top. And again, uh, new brand that they are using here, so it is a little bit different than the previous brand. Some nice uh, little features here that will kind of tell you about some of the new stuff. And they have a really nice construction video that you should watch when you get a chance. Um, you can find that on their website. But all aluminum framing, roof, walls, floor, 
Um, a lot of brands are using wood in their roofs or in their floors trying to save a few dollars. So that is another nice feature there. Pretty good little pantry area here um, if you want to use it for that. But you do have plenty of little shelf space here for some extra storage. Little trash can area down there or other storage, whatever you want to use it for. Full extending ball bearing drawer guides. There's some USB chargers there. Your um, climate control thermostat there, which controls both air conditioners and also your uh, fantastic fan. The unit has in the ceiling up here, it has a fantastic fan you can see up there. And that really helps exhaust out all the heat from cooking and the moisture and things like that. So that is a really nice thing. And you can also see while we're aiming up, you have a different ceiling panel. So that has also changed a little bit the look of the ceiling panel. Central vac built into the step down there. So you have the dustpan vac and the vac hose hookup right there. Also, the propane leak detector and your electric box with your breakers and fusers there. Now, coming into the coach right here, you'll have this little cabinet. And you could store a little bit of stuff there. But the main purpose in this is to kind of hide some of these controls. Um, right here, you have your in-command control center. So when you come in here, you've got a little security code that you can, you know, kind of type in your own code. It starts off with basically four zeros right now. But this in command center has generator prime auto start stop controls here. So if you ever add a generator to the coach, that's all built into the in command center. Tells you your battery condition. Turn on and off a bunch of the lights. Water pump, water heater, interior lights, exterior lights, security lights. I just hit this button, turned off the security lights outside. Hit that button, turned off some of the exterior lights. Uh, I turned off my awning light here by this button. So a lot of nice things. I hit the interior button, I just shut off a whole bunch of lights. Uh, hit it again, I just turned on a bunch of lights. So pretty cool. Water heater again, all that type of stuff. You can scroll through here, it just scrolls up and down. But like the toe kick step light or the island light, those type of things, all labeled out there. So you can turn things off and on. Slide out for the bedroom, slide out for the living rooms, or hitch lowers, different things you can all kind of control amongst here. So it's pretty neat. Um, you can also turn on the water heater on gas here, ceiling fan light. The unit is pre wired for solar panels. You would put the control for the solar panel right here if you do those fancy solar panels on the roof. Um, going up the step area there, you have linoleum and you've got a step light down there but you also have a nice little grab handle going up here and on the ceiling here in the hallway you have your TV uh, antenna rotation handle there so that allows you to rotate that antenna around for better reception going up here a little bit further we have our bathroom area here and you have a nice solid surface sink there, some shelving and cabinetry down there. Wood medicine cabinet. There is also a nice upgraded fantastic fan in here. You have the larger walk-in shower with the sliding glass doors and they have the uh, little seat area back there so you can sit down if you need to. Upgraded porcelain foot flush toilet. You can see your little toilet paper holder down there. You also have some hook holders there for your robes or towels or whatever you want to hang there. And then this does pop open here and you have quite a bit of room for 
towels and washcloths and things like that down through there. And then the door for the bathroom is a sliding pocket door. So this just basically slides and closes. So when you come up from downstairs or come from the bedroom area, you don't have to worry about which way the door is swinging, especially important at nighttime. Uh, you come out of the bedroom half asleep. You don't have to worry about tripping down the steps. Um, it's a lot easier to get in and out of there. The bedroom is a little bit different than the early version. It feels a little bit taller toward that closet area right there. I haven't had a chance to measure it or anything, but it does feel taller up there. It feels like, I think, partly because of that new cap system, that whole area feels a little bit taller by a couple inches there. 32 inch flat screen TV here in the bedroom. Four dressers there, or four dresser drawers. Um, you have the uh, electric outlet there, so you can plug something in there if you want to. The unit is optioned in for the um, washer dryer prep. So this has washer dryer prep right here. If you don't do the washer dryer prep, you just basically have a large closet. Some electric outlets there. There's a sticker there telling you where to drill the dryer vent and your hot and cold water lines and drain lines. Now in the closet you have more shelving back there too. That's a pretty nice feature. There's also a light in here and there is more shelving over there. So you got a lot of hanging closet here. King size bed was ordered on this unit. You got little shelves on both sides of the bed, USB chargers on both sides of the bed, windows on both sides of the bed, and you have the roller shade on both sides of the bed there. The again, windows open so you get a nice little cross breeze. Traditional electric outlet on both sides of the bed, so if you have the CPAP machines or something like that, you got plenty of room to plug those in. Uh, again, you have the Whisper Quiet Airs in here, so you got a nice clean roof. There's no big loud air conditioner here, so that does help you sleep at night. Some little coat hooks over there on the wall. Light switch. Quite a bit of room at the foot of the bed area here to kind of move around, get up, get dressed. So it doesn't feel real tight in this area. Again, my name is Ray. If you have any questions or would like to purchase one of these new units, please feel free to give me a call. I'll be glad to help you and sell you a unit. Toll free number is 888 417-8299 my extensions 203 um, also be sure to like share uh, comment down below um, and be sure to subscribe if you want to see some more of my RV videos I try to be as detailed as possible without getting too crazy I know some people uh, hate to see them go this long but uh, I just want to try to make sure you're informed on what's new again give me a call 888 417-8299, extension 203.